What's up guys, it's Cameron, and in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the software for dropshipping called ListQuick. Normally, you only ever hear me talk about FBM Fox, but I was given a chance to check out ListQuick, try it out, a lot of you guys have been asking, so I wanna go ahead and just go over my first thoughts and what I feel about it. Um, also, uh, later in the video, I will kind of go into my computer and show you a simple way of how it works, Emphasis on simple. ListQuick is very easy to use. It's very simple. It's not, oh, it's not so many features that it's not digestible. But it's um, again very simple, very easy to use. So let's talk about ListQuick, the app slash software slash extension that you can use to dropship very easily. To start, let's talk about what ListQuick says about themselves. Uh, ListQuick says it was created for the next generation of dropshippers. It is intended to give them the easiest and best experience copying products from Walmart, eBay, and Amazon to Facebook Marketplace, Shops, and Shopify. So that's one thing that's a little bit extra on this, and you'll notice a lot of the other software is doing this as well. Um, I don't know if the, the waves are kind of going towards Shopify, but more and more of, of all of our automation softwares like ListQuick are going to be adding Shopify features. So something to keep in mind. Um, you'll probably just hear the word Shopify a lot, even if you've been avoiding it, because who knows, maybe that's coming. But uh, Shopify, Shops, and Marketplace, let's focus on Marketplace and Shops. I've been using it and it, it is very simple and very easy, like what I said. I have been able to just simply find an item that I like, like what you would expect. And instead of having to manually copy paste everything, I can just hit a simple copy button, go to Facebook, open up a marketplace or shops tab and paste an item in there. Again, I will show you examples of that here in a little bit. But what are some things I really like about ListQuick? Uh, the thing I just mentioned, it's very simple. Um, and a lot of you maybe are just sick of other softwares or just really haven't pulled the trigger on any other software. So ListQuick is gonna be one of those very easy ones. I don't wanna compare it. I don't wanna say like, oh, it's just like ZDrop or it's just like FBM Fox or AutoDS. I don't wanna, it's not really the same thing as those. It's its own thing. And um, I would say that it reminds me and gives me the same feeling that I got when I first started drop shipping and I started using ZDrop. I don't know if you guys remember a long time ago, ZDrop was just a very simple copy and paste quick tool. Like it was just it was just a tool for you to do things very quickly. And I think ListQuick is bringing that kind of feeling back to like the roots of just simple marketplace and shops drop shipping. Uh, again, Shopify as well, but a lot of us on this channel are gonna be thinking about Facebook related things. This made me feel like that, it, very, just very easy. Like if you want your hands on everything, um, like in a good way, I know that sounds like, well, no, I want my hands off of stuff. Like, no, if you want to do the listing yourself um, or pay, I guess a VA to, you can pay for this for them to have it. But if you want to do the listing yourself and really keep tabs on stuff, this is just a really easy way for those of you who don't want to spend a lot of time, who want to list things very fast. Their name is ListQuick. I mean, it's very obvious what they do. And that's what they focus on. It's not a bunch of tracking everything. It, it's, it's none of that. It, it's none of the extra stuff that some of you guys probably don't understand anyway. It, it's simply just listing with an extension as we all did when we first started. Now, for I say we first started. If you're somebody who's new and is just getting started, this is one of those really good softwares. I want you, if you're new, I want you to be doing the work but you can use something like ListQuick to simplify the work and take less time rather than copy pasting everything and saving all the photos yourself and doing all of that. All right, so pros of ListQuick. It's very easy, it's very simple, it's not over bloated with a bunch of features. It is just to the point, list quickly on Marketplace Shops and Shopify. Before I move on to cons, I will say that I opened a Shopify store um, not to actually drop ship from, but I'm opening it just to create a website that I'm gonna tie to a shop that I'm creating and letting bake for a little bit for like over a month. I'm, I'm basically doing this long-term experiment, but I'm actually creating a website that looks like a real store. And you know, I was like, God, I don't even really know how to use Shopify at all. I, I really don't. Um, and I knew I needed to add some products to it. And I was like, okay, I know I'm testing ListQuick out and they said they do Shopify. I'm gonna try that out. And this is the only software I've tried this with. 
I will honestly say that out of all of the options for like listing quickly on any kind of website, the Shopify one was very simple and very easy and it got my website up and running very quickly because I just needed to add like four products to make it look real even though it's not real. And ListQuick made that one of the fastest parts of me setting up the, the Shopify store. So that was, if you're here for the Shopify purpose and you're, you're looking for that and you came across my video, great. Um, it is a very good tool for Shopify. Um, one of the, some of the things that I think that ListQuick could be better about, um, or that you guys might find kind of, I don't know if I want to say irritating, but just kind of like, oh, maybe it should maybe tweak a little bit. And again, these are, it's a new, new software to me. I don't know how new it really is, but it's, it hasn't been on all of our, all of our radar for very long. So keep that in mind. Um, and I imagine they'll be updating and fixing some of these things down the road. But I, I will say that um, it is back to, it's one of those softwares that you have to like refresh things a lot. So not that you have to refresh because it's not working. It works perfectly. Let's say you want to copy it and I'll show you this. Um, it, you, when you go to list on the actual page, the buttons aren't there yet and you have to refresh the page for it to like register and pop them up. And that's just, it's very much intentionally that way. Um, it's not like that's an accident that they don't say, they're like, you when you go here, refresh the page and then they'll pop up. But sometimes that refreshing can seem a little like, eh, dang, I wish I didn't have to refresh the page. But it keeps you still. I mean, if you're counting pros and cons of like the shortcut of not having to save everything and then add it manually and all that stuff, a simple one click refresh and then another click to paste the data isn't really that big of a deal. It's pretty easy. Um, I noticed that I like it a lot on Marketplace. Um, shops gave me just a tiny bit of trouble when I was first messing with it, um, especially if you're copying something from Amazon that has a video. When you go to select copy, it will sometimes just pull up the video screen in Amazon and then you're like, oh, did it copy? It's not really sure. Like, I, I'm not quite sure. So you have to go check the extension to see if it did because, and I only that way, but I'm only saying that because if you haven't used it at all before, when you're doing it for the first time, it wasn't super like intuitive, I guess, other than the copy paste buttons, of course. There were a couple things that would happen that made me be like, oh wait, did that work? Did it not work? And it did, it just like, it didn't tell me super clearly that it was working because it, you know, it has to interact with Amazon weird and yeah, I'm assuming that's why. Anyway, let's jump in the computer and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about and what I'm experiencing and why I think it's a pretty decent software to use and I think you should get it. Okay, so we're in the computer and I just wanna do a couple sample listings, one from Amazon, one from eBay and then one marketplace and one shop. So I'll do like the Amazon one to marketplace and the eBay one to a shop. Just to give you an example of like how simple it is. So I'm gonna go to Amazon. I've just searched some doorknobs. I don't know why. Um, I'm gonna click on one of these and I have the extension running and I clicked it the first time. So remember when I said you have to refresh things? I do not have to refresh them when I click on a listing from Amazon. This gray copy button right here is the list quick button. If you've used any other software, you'll, you'll know that like there's just usually buttons that pop up different places. This is where list quicks is. And I'm just gonna hit copy. And th this is this is what I'm talking about. When you hit copy, sometimes this, if there's a video associated with the Amazon listing, which a lot of the times these days there are, that just pops up and I'm not really sure if it worked. Um, for all I know, it didn't, from what I understand, when you click that, it's downloading the images and that's why. So if there's a video, maybe that kind of like, you know, there just needs to be a thing where it like doesn't pop that video up. But uh, I'm gonna hit X out of here, but it says nice right here. So that's your little alert, even though it was underneath a pop-up. So I'm gonna go to Facebook and see if it does list my item. Um, so I, sit, I hit create a listing and you'll notice there's no buttons. This is where you have to refresh it like what I was talking about again, and then your buttons will pop up here. So I'm gonna hit paste data and see if it grabbed my listing. Is that the one? It did, it did. So um, you'll see, okay, so that was the right, I did a test earlier, so okay, that is the right doorknob. It did successfully do it, it's just when it pops up on Amazon, it kind of makes it seem like it didn't. But look, it did do my stuff. Um, it, I'm gonna go ahead and hit new condition. I think you can change that to where it automatically does that for you. 
So it uploads photos, again, just like a lot of other softwares, it'll put the pop the photos right in there. Um, one thing I haven't seen yet is you can add templates, um, but I, I haven't seen where you can change like a profit margin or anything. So you will need to go in here as of what I know right now, I could be wrong, but from what I've experienced, it's not very obvious if, it, if you can, but I'm gonna go ahead and just say, it's like, hey, I wanted to sell it for 15 bucks. Um, and then, you know, you'd go in here and do the rest of your listing, basically. That's just, it puts it in there very easy for you. And it also has a reset data button. If you're like, oh, wait a minute, I wanna change something, let's start over. And um, you can hit that and it will just clear everything out and then put the buttons back for you. So that's something that's kind of nice if for some reason you needed that. Okay, let's get rid of the Facebook stuff and let's do this. Um, I don't really like this now because it's different sizes. So let's go back and um, Let's do this chainsaw, why not? All right, so again, on eBay, here's what your copy button looks like. It's different for some reason than the copy button on the other ones, but that's not really that big of a deal. You're looking for the gray copy button. So, copy. It says nice, it did not pop up anything for me, so this is exactly how I think it should probably work. And I'm gonna go over to a shop that I have called Tactical Drop and I am going to add one item. You're just gonna hit one item. And this is supposedly really one of the best softwares for listing very fast to shops manually. So you don't, you're not using a feed link, you're not bulk uploading, you're not doing anything. If you're somebody who wants to upload to shops manually, this is a tool that a lot of people use. So again, this is where you have to refresh because it's not, they're not gonna pop up automatically. Once that refresh happens completely, you should see a couple of buttons pop up. There you go, the paste data. And we're gonna paste the data. Now you'll notice that down here, once you hit paste data, it starts downloading images down here at the bottom of your screen. If you're using Chrome, which you should, because it's a Chrome extension. But uh, I'm just gonna click and drag the first one, if it'll let me, up into the photos. And then after that, you do have to go click add image and then go to your downloads folder and select one at a time. You can't do multiple. It doesn't add all the photos into a shop listing. You do have to add them all manually, but it did download them all for you to make it a little easier. You just have to hit click and then hit one image. You can't hit click and then do multiple for some reason. You can see it was very quick to list that. It wasn't too big of a deal. If you wanted to list like 20 items a day, you could do so very quickly because of the software. Especially, I think with Facebook Marketplace, it's just one of those very simple tools for Facebook Marketplace. You're just gonna hear me say it's very simple over and over and over again. But um, list quick, so far my first impressions are mostly positive. There, again, there's just a couple things like the, the refreshing and stuff, which isn't really that big of a deal. Um, for those of you who need a lot of features, it doesn't have a bunch of features. It's simply just the quick listing tool. And that's what a lot of people need, especially if you're just starting, which a lot of my channel is for people who are just beginning. Listquick's probably one of those good softwares for you. If you're interested in getting Listquick, link is down in the description. It'll take you right to the page that you need to sign up and that will just help you also navigate the process. You'll know exactly where you're going because I did have trouble finding their website at first to sign up. So um, just save yourself some time. Use the link in the description. It helps me, it helps you. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.